Hey guys, so I sat down with Kyle and the issue of of pen sensitivity came up and I didn't quite get what that really means, but um, we finally sat, sat down and we worked through like some of the different settings in Sketchbook Press and um, through your tablet. There's like different settings that you can play with in order to get this the pen sensitivity that you want. So um, Kyle asked me to one, share with you guys what those settings were, and then two, kind of show you the difference um, and what pen sensitivity means exactly. So I'm going to write on the screen to show you what I'm talking about and show you the difference. So let me get one color. And I'm going to show you in different colors because it does make a difference, the different colors. So I'm just going to write, the phrase that I'm going <laughs> to write is, I love Khan Academy. So let's write that now. So I love Khan Academy. Let me go to my palette and get a different color to show you just how the difference, the differences in, in color can make a difference too. Um, let's see. I love Khan Academy. Let me get one more color. So, oops, sorry. Um, give you a comparison. I love Khan Academy. So this would be an example of what good pen sensitivity is. I don't know if you can tell, but the lines aren't all the same. There's like variation. It kind of looks like a pencil or a ch chalk on, um, on a chalkboard. So before I go into like the specifics on what these settings are, I'm gonna now change the settings and put them onto different settings and show you what bad pen sensitivity would look like, and and then um, so that you can have a good comparison, and then I'll I'll share the those exact settings and I'll show you on my screen what exactly I'm talking about and where you where the different places that you can go to change any of those settings. So let me erase this. Okay, now I'm going to show you what bad sensitivity looks like. And I'm going to use the same colors in the same phrase so you have, um, so you have a good comparison of what um, good sensitivity looks like and what bad sensitivity looks like. Let me get the right brush. So let's do yellow. I love. I used this one. I love Khan Academy. Let me get the last one that I used over here. There we go. Okay. I love Khan Academy. So I don't know if you can tell, but th there is a subtle difference. Um, all the all the lines in in the words kind of have the same depth, same hardness, same same tone. So it doesn't have that human pencil um, feel to it. Um, and maybe Kyle, hopefully Kyle agrees, and uh, I finally do understand what sensitivity is. But um, so this would be an example of I, I'd say um, bad sense bad pen sensitivity because the the tone of, of all the colors is this is the same and it's kind of harsh. Um, so I'm I'm gonna leave that up there so that you have a good comparison and you can scroll back to um, the sentences that I did before, the ones with good sensitivity, so you can kind of compare and contrast in the same video. And now what I'll go, what I'll do is go through where you can go into so that you can play with the settings, and I'll give you the exact settings that I that I um, that I use for the pencil. So right now this is bad sensitivity, so this isn't the the settings that I normally use. So um, typically Kyle has recommended that we use the pencil, and if you want to adjust the settings of the pencil and how the harshness of how it writes, there's this this tab right here, and it says brush properties you click on it and then you can see here that you can change the settings and you can go right and you can go left and you can kind of see how different 
it changes. And there's two, actually two settings on here that change. It's kind of kind of interesting. I have never seen it before. Kyle, Kyle made a note of it. Um, so there's two, two settings. One of them is for hardness and the other one is for size. So if you, the one on the left is hardness and the one on the right is size. So for example here, we have the hardness is 8B, that's the setting, and the size is 72. So you can have a certain hardness size and then this, and I'm sorry, you can have a certain hardness and then within that hardness you can have different sizes. So you can have 8B, 7.5, 8B, 8.0. So what I, what we figured out was a good, a good um, pencil size is 6B, here we go, and the size 5.4. So right here. And so you can just save it. So that's one of the ways that you can change the pencil size. Another place that you can go is if you go to edit and click down here we have style stylus responsiveness. If you play with this and how um and and if you look at the the description, it's a way to make your brush more pressure sensitive and um and you can play with that and and see what feels feels good to you. Um, because, you know, we, we, with the stylus in our tablet, we, we can press down a certain way, um, and we can press down differently. So that's going to reflect differently on if your tablet settings are, are a certain way, if you go more pressure sensitive or less pressure sensitive, and then depending on how hard you, you, um, you press on the tablet with the pencil, it's going to sense differently. And it will also be reflected on, on the harshness and, and thickness of, of the text. And so that's one way. That's another way. So that's one, two, and then there's a third way. And if there's any more ways, please let me know because I've, this is a learning process for me too. So if you go to, don't go to the application, um, Sketchbook Express, or if you're in Preview or Cloud, go to the Apple. If Then this is for using Mac. I'm sorry if you're not using Mac. Um, and you can go to the System Preferences. And you click my my the Wacom tablet comes down here to other but just in case it doesn't come down to the other section you might have to search for it in the search box here but go to your Wacom tablet system settings and then under mine just came out on under pen but just in case it doesn't you go to the pen settings section and then if you look here and this was the settings were on the bad um, pressure sensitive um, settings. So uh, typically you don't want it to be too soft because then you won't have to put enough pressure. And so because of that, it's you don't have to put a lot of pressure in order to get like a good stroke. So because so with a normal pressure, then it's going to come out really thick and you won't have that variation. Um, so this was a bad pressure sensitive setting. But you can play with it depending on how firm or, or how soft you normally press. You can change that. And it's pretty cool because if you, I'm playing with my stylus right now, and if you use your stylus, you can kind of see what the current pressure is. So I barely tap, and it's already almost at full pressure. And so if you change the tip feel, and let's put it in the middle, and normally I have it in the middle, then um, then it'll it'll be different. So the same way that I was tapping beforehand when it was on the different setting, now it's it's it takes more to actually get that full pressure so it's a good medium so I would I would leave it um, in the middle the tip feel should be in the middle that's what I've used um, for and that's what I, that's what the setting was when I did the good the good pen sensitivity um, example so to review there's the system preferences for the Wacom tablet and you go to pen and I normally have it here in, in the middle and then if we go back to Sketchbook Express, you can change the settings of the brush. And like I mentioned, the brush size, the brush hardness and size, the settings that I use are 6B and um, 5.4. And the last one is your stylus responsiveness. And you can play with that depending on how firm or how um, soft you, you press on the tablet with your stylus. But I believe I, I normally had it here. 
um, kind of a little bit right center, but usually um, with these system preferences or uh, application preferences, it's better to stay in the middle. I think the, the key one is um, this pencil, the pencil settings. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know. I'd be happy to help. And if um, there are any additions or anything that you feel might be helpful, please let me know and then I can update the update the video. Thanks.